Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will see uh, one more concept in uh, discrete mathematics that is combinatorics, that is permutations and combinations. So in our previous session, we have seen the complete introduction about combinatorics, which is a part of discrete mathematical structures. And the main concepts of combinatorics is a production rule, a permutations and combinations. So today's session, we will see a few very simple problems on permutations as well as a combinations. So just a quick recall what exactly when we are going to use the permutations and when we are going to use a combinations. So coming to the permutations, so if we want to choose a few objects and if you want to arrange those objects in particular order, then we have to choose the permutations. And irrespective of, the, uh, irrespective of the order, if we want to choose or select a few objects from n objects, then we'll go with the combination. So with consideration of arrangements, we will go with the permutations. Irrespective of the arrangements, only choosing will go with the combinations. Just remember these things. And there are two kinds of problems mainly in permutations and combinations so that is with the repetition and without repetition so both will be having permutations with repetition permutations without repetitions similarly combinations with repetitions and combinations without repetitions so in today's session we will go with uh, permutations and combinations without repetitions right yes so just a quick recall uh, of the formula Permutation, if the permutation, the formula is NPR, that means if we want to select R objects and we have to arrange R objects from N objects, then it will be N factorial by N minus R factorial. So this is the formula for permutations. So first let us look about the permutations. The two without repetition, right? Permutations without repetitions. And that also very, 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 very simple and a basic problems. So in our next session, we'll go with a somewhat complex problems, right? So let us understand what exactly the permutations. See here, three problems we have taken for permutations. After that, we'll go with the combinations. And all these three are without repetitions, without repetitions. So the formula NPR is equal to N factorial by N minus R, right? So just study this problem. How many possible ways we can construct three digit number from four, six, eight, nine? So given four numbers, here given n is equal to four numbers. Okay. So among that four numbers, we have to select, we have to construct three digit number. So that means if you consider four, six, eight, Okay, example, let us take the three digits. So we have to arrange these digits to form the three digit number. So in this example, not only for selecting the three digit, we have also to construct the three digit number. So we have to, we have also to arrange the numbers to form a three digit number. Okay, so that's why we have to use a permutations formula. So once again, so here not only the selection, after selecting the three numbers, we need to arrange the three numbers to form a three digit number. So here among four, we have to consider three digit number r is equal to three. So the formula, so here the formula is four p three permutations. So that implies four factorial by four minus three factorial. So you can do the uh, calculations. So 4 factorial by 4 minus 3 means 1 factorial, 1 factorial means it is 1. So that means a 4 factorial. So 4 factorial means a 24. So there are 24 possible ways we can construct 3 digit number from given 4 digits. Okay, so not only the uh, selection, also we have to do some arrangements. Next, let us move on with the second example. How many ways we can give first second and third place among nine girls and five boys now the total number of students okay the total number of students are 
9 plus 5 irrespective of gender okay irrespective of the gender so we are supposed to select three students okay first we have to select the three students and among the three we have to give first second and third we have to arrange them with the first second third so total number of students are 14 because 9 plus 5 because 9 boys plus 5 girls so total 14 among these 14 what we have to do we have to give the first second and third places so we have we have to select the three students and that's not sufficient among those three who, who will be getting the first prize or first place so who will be getting the second place and who will be getting the third place so arrangements should also be done so the result is so r is equal to three three places so 14 p 3 that equal to 14 factorial by 14 minus 3 factorial that implies 14 factorial by 11 factorial which is 14 into 13 into 12 into 11 factorial by 11 factorial which gives 14 into 13 into 12 so these many combinations i am not doing any multiplication this is a simple multiplication you can do so these many possible ways we can give the first place second place and third place among the nine girls and five boys so here i have written differently so nine girls and five boys yes that's it but total is a 14 total is a 14 so hope you understood so not only the selection but also ordering will be done and coming to the third example, find the number of three letter words that can be formed from the letter A, B, C, D and E in which letters are not repeated. So letters should not be repeated, right? So first what we have to do, we have to select the three letters among these five letters. So here N is equal to 5, N is equal to 5 and among that 5, we have to form a three letter words, okay? So not only selecting the three letters. So, by arranging those three letters, it forms a different words. So, the number of letters or words, I mean, uh, the number of letters should be three. So, among five, we have to select the three. So, the solution will be five P three. So, among five, we have to select the three. We have to select and form the letter words. So, that, will be, that implies five factorial by five minus three factorial. So, which becomes five factorial by 2 factorial which becomes 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial by 2 factorial so you can get cancelled so it becomes 60 possible ways so total 60 possible ways that means 60 three letters words can be performed among the letters a b c d and e total five letters right so these are the very very simple permutation problems so without repetition right now we'll go with the combinations the so same kind of problems we'll see in the combinations then you will be finding the difference among the permutations and combinations so let us see the combination problems so let us see the second one that is a combinations so just now we have seen the permutations now we'll see the combination problems so here we need to select or choose the number of uh, objects but we are not arranging those objects and the formula for this one is ncr where we are supposed to choose some r objects from n objects it is represented with ncr which is the formulated as n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial so this is a formula for a combination so we'll see See, coming to the first problem, how many ways we can choose uh, three workshops to get attended from the 12 workshops? So, if we are having some 12 workshops in an uh, academic year and we are supposed to select only three workshops among them. So, here there is no question of ordering. So, first workshop, second workshop and third to be attended. So, just we have to select the three workshops among the 12 workshops. There is no question of ordering. So, in which order we have to attend. 
So in such cases, we'll go with this combination. So total work, number of workshops are 12 and we need to select the workshops as three, that is R. So 12 CR is the solution which gives uh, 12 factorial by 12 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. So this is a 3. So you can uh, solve it uh, 12 into uh, 11 into 10, 12 minus 3 is 9, right, into 9 factorial divided by 12 minus 3, it is 9 factorial into 3 factorial, means 6. I am directly writing this value, right. So here you can strike off this 9 factorial and this 6 will be uh, divided this 12 with 2. So then you can see 110 into 2, that means a 220. So the number of possible ways we can choose the number of possible ways we can choose the three workshops to attend among the 12 is 220 possible ways, right? So once again, I'm saying here we are supposed to select the workshops. That doesn't mean that we have to follow the order. So we can follow n number of orders, okay? N, uh, I mean, any order, in any order. And coming to the second one, how many ways we can select the three dishes among the 10 dishes from a menu in a restaurant? So if we went to the restaurant, so we'll be giving one menu, so where you can find a lot of dishes and we, have, we are supposed to give some three dishes or four dishes among that. So it doesn't give the order, okay? We are supposed to select the dishes. So in this menu, we are having a 10 dishes and from the 10 dishes, we are going to select only three dishes. There is no order. So n is equal to 10 and r is equal to 3. So we need to select a 3 from 10. So that implies the formula will be 10 c 3 which gives a 10 uh, factorial divided by 10 minus 3 factorial into 3 factorial. So which gives 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial into 3 into 2. So this will be strike off and this will be 3 times and this will be 4 times. 12 into 10 that is 120 possible ways we can select 3 dishes among the 10 dishes. So, as I said earlier, these are very, very simple and basic permutations and combination problems that too without repetitions. Okay. See, how many different committees of five people can be chosen from a 10 people? So, we are having a 10 people and we need to form a five people committee. Five people committee, right? A, a committee with the five people. So here also there is a no question of order. So who whom should be uh, picked first, right? That that is no question. So we need to select only five people among the ten people. The, how many different uh, committees can be formed with the five people? So here the total number of people are ten. So n is ten, and we have to select a five people committee. So r will be five. So this can be written as ten c five. So which can be written as 10 factorial by 10 minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial. So that may be 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 factorial by 5 factorial into 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So 5 factorial will be strike off and this 5 will be taken it as a 2 and this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled and uh, this 3, 3 times and this 4, 2 times. So you can multiply, we will be getting 36 into 7. See 36, 6 into 6, 36 into 7. So which is
252 ways we can form a five people committee among the 10 people so there is no question of ordering right so this this is the major difference between the permutations and combinations so if we are only selecting the uh, objects only choosing or selecting the objects irrespective of the order we will go with the combinations and if we, we are selecting the objects or if we are selecting the uh, choosing the objects with respect to the order and also we have to do some arrangements then we'll go with the permutations right so hope you understood this basic and very very simple problems on permutations and combinations in our next session we'll see a few more problems in permutations and combinations right yes so let's stop here and hope you understood the major difference between permutations and combinations and these formulas and try to solve more more number of problems so that you'll be confident about solving these type of problems right yes so i'll stop here and if you are having any queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much